Hello, this is Sebastian Moyapasan from Tucson, Arizona, United States, and this is your channel, Geology, Life, and Healing. And this time we are, uh, we are going to talk about geology and uh, anaconda, anaconda mapping method in perfect copper deposits, because that's how it started anaconda mapping. Okay, next slide. So, next one. And. This is the story of uh, anaconda uh, mapping method, e, and um, it came from anaconda copper mining. It was founded in 1800s, and but by, by, by the 20th century, it became one of the biggest uh, uh, companies in the world, and it had um, perfect coppers in the United States and uh, Mexico. Peru, Chile, and so it it was in the time in in the 40s and 50s where it was the peak, probably in the 50s, and so where it was able to make um, an standard for the industry. So they created a, a color code uh, mapping, and uh, with a technique systematically you can record. Uh, put it in paper, make interpretation, and um, develop a target of drilling, target of uh, uh, exploration or infill, and, uh, and everything started in a Butte mine, Montana, and then they went to Jerington, and the Jerington mine in Nevada too, and, uh, and for me personally, it's a uh, one way this way to say thank you for all the people that they work over there and and uh, today now we call an anaconda metal we call uh, our anaconda metal but the company who who developed the west anaconda because of that thank you and so next slide so this is the reference information for uh, for this presentation. So mapping uh, mapping altered and mineralized, mineralized rocks, the anaconda metal, Marco T. A. A. Naudi. I hope I can pronounce him properly. And um, the second one is the field mapping. Yeah, the field mapping and the environments uh, in gold fields and Eric Peterson and William Chavez. And the next one is the Lower Program Economic Geology by Mark Bar uh, Barton and Eric Cedarford. And this, this is 2010 and Chavez uh, 203. And uh, one more. And uh, this is the uh, SCG publication 12 and uh, the role of. Uh, Geology mapping and mineral exploration. Yeah, John Dillis and John uh, Prophet, yeah, they work a lot of uh, writing uh, uh, USGIS and a lot of publication for uh, SEG. And if you find it, this reference is going to be very good. Next one list of tools. Now, what do you need? Color, color, pencil, code, compass, base map. Right, and uh, at that time they they use a uh, tape measure. Today we use uh, GPS. Right. Next one. This, this is the color code that uh, I'm talking about. So they, they have the minerals. This uh, uh, or minerals, uh, minerals uh, of uh, um, super gene, uh, super gene or minerals, Ganga minerals, and this it says rock side that's where you want to map and this is rock side too air side so they have uh, two sides for the mapping uh, rock side and air side and uh, i have uh, this color code this is the color and this is the code this is the color of the code of color and number right so uh, as you can see this number is uh, the same color this one and the same uh, like that one so what's uh, the, the the difference because the it goes in different sheets, so there's no way to, to mix it. So this is going to be for uh, or, and this probably will go for alteration. And uh, this uh, mirrors, yeah, it's alteration, right? So um, what else? Uh, that's the color code, basically it is. Next one. 
and uh, um, it says he changed it, but he didn't change it. Let's see, yeah, there. So, so this is how it, it will look the air side of mapping, and this is the how it looks the rock side of mapping. So this is the line that uh, is going to be the bench, right? And uh, this is uh, how gonna be in the bench and oxidized rock. And this is a published for a e Naudi nineteen ninety seven and published. It says, but now uh, it's published probably by um, Cedar for uh, right. And that's where I took it. Okay. So what do we see in here when we talk about rocks and oxidites? So we are talking about sulfide minerals. So this is the veinlets, so and this is the structure. So this is uh, disseminated sulfides. In that, that time they put one dot, means weak, two dots, moderate, three dots, strong. So, And uh, the other side you have a, a, a duration column. That's going to be the K-Fels alteration, mafic alteration, alteration of uh, halos, veinlets, and so that's how do they record it. So, and like I said, originally it was made for map perfect copper systems. And um, so, uh, and the oxidized zone, so you don't have a, a pyrite anymore, now you have oxide, oxides, right? So. So two two benches, uh, apparently the same, but uh, two different benches. One oxidized, one without oxidized. So next one. So uh, uh, that's uh, I was saying. You know, uh, this is the academic from the university and whatever, whatever you can imagine, you can see. You know, but from here we go to the real world, to the industry. This is the industry. This is how uh, uh, we work in the field. And uh, this is the uh, bench outcrop mapping, so all together, and uh, uh, about alteration in this project, this Mirador project in Sonora, Mexico. In that time, that's uh, how we made of, uh, this mapping. And uh, uh, let me run one more, and I'll, I'll show more detail. So this is the second map, bench outcrop mapping, interpretation, lithology, and structure. Mirador project, Sonora, Mexico. So this is uh, how it looks like. This is structures and you know, the lithology. So let's see. Let me show you if I can say um, more detail. So this is the lithology, but we want the other one, right? So this uh, that's a uh, uh, other project alteration by. Uh, myself in 2008 the last update we always put it update so um, we we put for this one uh, clay uh, quartz sericide there's a uh, one kind of mica you know we have maybe sericide we didn't know it and we didn't have a uh, XRD in that time and so I think it's uh, at the end we sent it to a lab and it, it, it was not sericide it was smectite so Right, clay minerals, yes. <laughs> so iron oxide. So if you see the iron oxide limit, uh, you know, iron oxide here, iron oxide, some iron oxides over there. You know, the, the, let's say clay oxide, what you call suicide limit. And what else? Quartz veining, calcite veining, pyrite. Ah, we have some pyrite somewhere. And um, limits. All this uh, strong quartz binding limits. This is Hornsville, and something more. We have garnet zone, and we have silicium Hornsville too. Because so if we go over here, this is the hard. This is the gar garnet and silicium Hornsville. Uh, yeah, we have uh, samples over here. We map all this. We have uh, some uh, samples uh, in, in there, and some values in somewhere too. Let's see this one. This is point. Three nine. It's 0.39 uh, gold grams uh, per ton of gold. Not much, but, you know. We need at least uh, uh, 0.1 ounces, right? Yeah, this is 0.1 grams. And the very uh, this is the pit. This is the mineral pit, and we have another pit in here. 
Here and there. So the, the target is to determine where is, uh, where is the next target to drill. That's the target. So you know that's how it looks like. This is how it has been delivered to the company. So the, the company has to make a decision. We drill, we do what we do, and the next one. So this is the lithology, the, the, the same well, the same lithology structure, uh, the same here. Limestone, uh, lime siltstone, sandstone, and mudstone, and land profiles, uh, normal fold, reverse fold, even the, the recent. But I think uh, this this was the normal fold. And even if uh, we have 32 measurements here, the 40 in this one, we have 50 here. Uh, we got uh, good measurements in some places. And I think uh, uh, this uh, could be a normal fault. And uh, we have sediments in here, uh, sediments in there. Uh, easily to think uh, this side is the upper part of a mirador. And this somewhere over here it is. But maybe it's a little more complicated than that. So at the end, this is how we develop to the company, to the industry. And this is how the real work works. Okay, and um, next, let's go back where we were. And so we are over there. Yeah, one more time. Okay, thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoy it, you like it, and it helped you uh, to learn a little bit more. And uh, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Subscribe and give a like and enjoy your life. Bye-bye. Thank you.